Welcome guys to another quick video this weekday. As you all know, Fedora 38 has already landed and most of you have already installed it. Do you want some expert tips for things to install after you have installed Fedora 38? In this video guide, we will show you certain things to do which can enhance your Fedora 38 experience. Let's start and give it a pace. Whether you have the latest and greatest out of the box, it is always a good thing to perform a system update, refreshing the list of repositories and upgrading any packages pushed last minute. You can update your Fedora as shown. You can configure them for faster downloads of packages. By selecting the fastest mirrors, the package download speed can increase. Furthermore, if you have a sufficiently faster internet connection, then the number of parallel downloads can be changed to get faster downloads. Just edit the DNF configuration files and save the made changes. If you need extra tools that aren't usually available in the default repositories and the filtered RPM Fusion repo, adding the RPM Fusion repo is a good idea. You can add them as shown. While you can install and use the shiny new desktop experience with Fedora 38, you cannot play videos media on it. Yet, of course, you can choose to install Vlos MPV with codecs packed in, or just manually install the multimedia codecs. To achieve any of those, you will have to eventually enable the RPM Fusion repository. For instance, if you want to install the VLC player after enabling the RPM Fusion repo, just type the following command in the terminal. After installation, the default host name is set up as Fedora. So if you want to personalize your system host name after installation, you can use the following command to set a new host name. To tweak the GNOME look and feel, you need to install both GNOME Tweaks and the Extensions Manager app. It can be done either through the Software Center or through the terminal using the following command. Once you are done installing it, you can launch it and play with different tweaks and settings and make your Fedora more comfortable for you.
If you are using a laptop, the default power saving options turn the screen blank and suspend it after a period of inactivity. But if you do not want that to happen, head to the power settings and disable the screen blank and automatic suspend options. You can play with GNOME tweaks and can adjust your favorite settings. This is an easy thing to do. You can also enable different repositories like Google Chrome with this setting. It can be handy to install third-party apps easily on Fedora 38, like we want to install Google Chrome Browser. Just enable it and install Google Chrome Browser in Terminal with DNF. It can be handy. Per your use case, you can do countless more things with your Fedora 38 system. Still, there are plenty of things left and might need another couple of minutes video too. I hope you like the content. If you have anything to ask, you can comment it. Thanks for watching. Wait, wait, don't forget to subscribe Tech Solutions.